Okay, well, I thought I'd talk about the movies today. And the reason why I want to talk about the movies was is I've had enough movies. I've watched enough movies over the, the course of this whole pandemic. And I wanted to make this a point. I intend to go to no movies the rest of this summer, or at least the rest of this year. I am all movied out when it comes to the theaters. I have enough movies and TV sets that I watch and unboxings that I do. The last thing that I want to do is go to the movies again, all over again, and go watch it at the theaters. And the theaters are actually pathetic. What, how are they... How My local theater is pathetic because how are they trying to get people to the movie theaters? They're going to show you old movies from like a million years ago that we already have at our house. Something like Jurassic Park. I forgot what the other one was. So it was at the local Warwick, Rhode Island theater. And you know what I think? Boo. Big thumbs down. What they should do is find something that's already out on video, have people vote on something they want to see, and then go from there. Then they can decide, well, ask the, ask the young movie studio if you could present it for a couple of months um, due to what's going on, and maybe they'll let you do it at a local theater or something. I mean, wouldn't that be nice? They'll never go for it if it's a new film, but if it's something that's maybe five or six years old, they might be willing to do it. Um, who knows that? But I did a little research. Now, I'm not a whole big person, but we got to remember, when you go to a regular theater most of the time, it's a projector that projects an image onto a screen. So you're not going to get even close to the best image you would as, a, as if you were watching your new LED or QLED television. You're not going to get that image. People don't understand it when I say I don't like to go to the movies. Is because I lose a lot of quality in the picture I watch. The one huge advantage to that, to go into the theater, is sound quality. Especially at the IMAX. Even at the regular cinema, sound quality cannot be beat no matter where you go. But the picture-wise is crap. Um, someone mentioned this, and you know, it kind of makes sense. A lot of the, um, they said a lot of the theaters, they've gone, the quality of their just, just It's just like a projector bowl that I have at home. The, the projector. I don't even know if I have that video up still. Probably do. Um, it wears out. Things wear out. They, And I've noticed that too when I've gone to different theaters. Sometimes the picture looks completely different. The tint is all off. Um, in some of the theaters I go to, like there's some kind of rips. or this. It's like someone tried to... I don't know if they paint the screens on. Maybe they do. But um, it looked like someone tried to touch it up once. One time it was like it looked like it was bended or ripped a little on the top. What? Why would anyone want to pay fifteen, twenty dollars to a theater when you can just watch it at home? Especially when I mentioned with movies that are already out at your house. Why go all the way to the movie theater and risk yourself? Um, um, why would you do that for a lousy movie that's been out for months, for um, years, all over? Actually. Damn, I don't even know when Jurassic, remember when Jurassic Park came out. It was in the mid-90s. So yeah, it's been over two decades since the original Jurassic Park came out. The Blu-ray came out, the DVD came out, the VHS came out. Everything's come out already. And that's the movie they're going to show you. That's pathetic, in my opinion. Pathetic. And that's why I'm not interested in the quality anymore. They even complained about the quality of the screen at the IMAX. And they had a good point there. The IMAX, you cannot beat its sound system. It's incredible. Everybody, no one complained in the forum about the IMAX having bad sound. They complained about the quality. And I have to say, it's true. Most of the time, I understand there's certain formats for certain movies. You can't show them in a certain way. But every time you go to the IMAX, it never takes advantage of the entire screen. Unless it's one of those actual IMAX films. If you're just watching a regular movie, then forget it. Um, and that's what kind of sucks about it. it. The IMAX isn't worth the money every time either. That's why most people don't go to the IMAX most of the time to begin with. I think the IMAX is good for once in a great while. But when you've watched as many movies as I have, it's easier just to watch it in the comfort of your own house. You can't beat the sound, don't get me wrong. But you definitely can beat the picture quality. I know projectors like the back of my hand. I had one, and I used one primarily for, a, uh, let's see, a couple years at least. Then I finally got another television, and that was 
So I know what it's like. And I know it's a completely different projector, but I know what projectors can do after using them for a while. They wear down and they don't work anymore. And that's exactly what you get out of a theater. Exactly what you get out of a theater. And the way everything is set up now, there has to be specialty seating and only certain kinds of capacity in the world. Um, I don't think it's worth it. Just do everything at home. I, adv I advise people to just stay at home and watch a movie if you want to do it. It's much easier and um, you'll enjoy it more. I can tell you from experience myself, you'll enjoy it more. You don't have to worry about other people and all the other stuff. You can pause the movie and go to the bathroom. You can do whatever the hell you want. Why well, go to a theater where you're not going to see a lot of people to see a rundown movie that, that's stupid and it's been over, over two decades? Now, I know people won't agree with me in this, but you don't have to agree with me. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to. I'm just telling you, that's how it is. That's how I feel about it. Um, now, people are going to say, that's not true. People might argue with me. you got to remember, it's not like before. Back in like the early, early no, not early 90s, late 90s, mid 90s, Everything was about how many inches was the screen at your house. If your TV was 60 inches or 50, it used to be a big deal. Now that doesn't make any difference. You, I don't even know how many inches the theater screen is, but it's at least a couple hundred inches. Um, that makes no difference in the picture. No difference. It's actually pathetic. It's it's a, I, I want people to think about this very, very hard. It's a very good subject to, to think about over, um, over time. And you've got to say to yourself, is this even worth it? Is it worth watching a picture that's less than your own TV? What, what I don't understand is what do people get out of it? If people don't watch any action films or anything, um, and you're just watching a regular film, what do you get out of the movie theater? The experience right now, you can't say the experience because the experience is horrible having to sit down a certain way or wear a mask or something like that. So, what do you get out of that? If you were to watch a regular movie whenever they may come out, I don't see how that's going to be any good. I, I can imagine it's going to be terrible because you'll get a bad picture, you'll get the good sound, and you have to sit apart from other people. So I just recommend you stay home, watch the movie. The Blu-rays, unfortunately, the movie quality, um, the movie, how do I put it? The movie, movies themselves haven't been coming out because everything is backlogged and backed up, but they will be. So you wait a little while. There's a tons of TV shows coming out, though, on disc this year that are Blu-rays and DVDs. That can hold you over. Um, I'm just, and besides that, I've been getting sick of going to the movies to begin with for the last, um, it's been a long time now. You know, I just feel like if I'm just going to buy the movie every single time I go to the movies, why not skip one of the steps and skip the step of going to the movies? Because it's really pointless to this point. I remember I didn't go and see one of the Mission Impossibles. Um, I watched it on video. It was an okay movie, but it wasn't worthy of a theater release. And um, that's why I, I, that's why I think about it. I was thinking to myself, why do people go to the movies? Why does movies suck? You know, a lot of the big people said those quality of those, of the not the film. Maybe it is that's not even film. I think everything's digital now. Um, it's just the quality of those projectors and stuff that project the image out. They're not that good, and still to this day. Um, still to this day. People don't understand what I'm saying, and I wish people would understand. The theater is for, it's for, it's, it's for very, very rare appearances where you really like something. You shouldn't go there for every single movie that comes out, and um, that's how I feel about it. Oh. All right, bye bye.